Hi, second graders, and welcome back to another day of skills. Um, I am Ms. Catrone from Citizenship Academy, and today we are on Unit 4, Lesson 7. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you, and as you guys know, we always start every day with our, some goals for the day, and that helps us uh, kind of figure out what we're trying to learn um, in this lesson. <clears throat> All righty. So our goals for today, I can find the plural form um, of singular nouns. So we're going to be finding how to make one more than one, okay? I can create the plural form of irregular nouns, ones that don't follow the rules, they aren't normal. Lastly, I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, the corner market. So today we'll be reading about the corner market. All right. So today we're going to review making singular and plural nouns. So remember, singular is just one. If I have a single shoe, I have one shoe. Plural is anything more than one. It can be two or it can be two million. It's anything more than one. So if I have one girl, I have many girls. Um, so plural is more than one. Like I said, it can be any number more than one. It could be two, six, five hundred, three million. Anything more than one. I have one skate, I have many skates. All right, let's find a singular and plural words in this sentence. So um, remember nouns are people, places, things, ideas, animals. We're trying to find a singular and then plural. The girls can jump rope fast. All right, I want you guys to think, hmm, is there more than one? And then is there a singular one? All right, the girls is plural. There's more than one girl. I don't know how many. There could be 200 girls, or there could be two. So the girls can jump rope fast. Rope is just one thing, just one rope. All righty. Let's find it again. The man is painting the trucks red. Hmm. People, places, and things, animals, and ideas. There's one man. There's many trucks. All right, guys, we're going to practice more in your Google form or in Seesaw about singular and plural nouns. <clears throat> but now we're going to talk about um, some plural nouns that don't necessarily follow the rules. So we know we've learned that when I'm making a singular noun plural, I can add S. Sometimes if it ends in CH, SH, or X, I'll need to add ES. Uh, these ones follow normal rules. Some of them don't. Okay, the blank went fishing in the lake the man's, the men, or the men's. Think about it. You can shout it out. If you have a whiteboard, you can write it down. This will be the men. The men went fishing in the lake. The, ask me for the plural of child. How would I say that? The blank enjoyed playing checkers. Child's, children, or children's. Hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. That one is going to be children. Alrighty, next up, um, I have, there we go, um, oops, in my way, Bart went home to get some boots, so, there we go, Bart went home to get some boots when it started raining, when it started to rain, so his blank would stay dry, hmm, is it foots, is it feet, or is it feets? What, did he do? what would he need to say dry? His feet. So I wouldn't say foots or feet, but feet is it. The dentist cleaned my blank. I have one tooth. I have many teeth, teeths, or tooths. I have many teeth. Sometimes it's helpful to say these sentences because then you can think, mm, I, don't, I don't say that I lost my tooths. Let's say that I lost my teeth. I saw a blank flying up in the sky. We're trying to think of the plural of goose. Is it gooses, geeses, or geese? That one is geese. The cat was chasing three, I'm trying to think of how I would say multiple mouse. Mouses, mice, mices. Hmm, the cat was chasing three mice. Yep, that one doesn't follow the rule, any rule. These are all irregular. Okay, so next we're gonna read some words and we're gonna decide is it one, singular, 
or plural, more than one. And then from there, we are going to say them in a sentence. Okay, butterfly. Just one butterfly. I saw a butterfly on my walk. Next one, squirrels. Hmm. More than one, plural. I saw four squirrels on my walk. Gym. That's just one gym. There is a gym on my street. Morning. Hmm. This morning, I got dressed in a red shirt, a maroon shirt. Hole. One hole or many holes. It's just singular. There was a hole in my paper. Dresses. Ooh, notice how this one ends in S, so I have to add ES. It's a good rule to remember. I have eight dresses in my closet. Prizes. Hmm, prizes. It's more than one. I got to pick three prizes from the treasure box this week. Church. Just one. There is a church in the village. Just one, plural, singular, singular. Arches, arches. Hmm. That's more than one. The town was decorated with many arches. Butterflies. Hmm. Now I'm talking about plural, more than one, many butterflies. I like the three yellow butterflies the best. Okay, so some singular nouns are exceptions to the general, general rule about adding the ending S. So if I have child, I wouldn't say I have four childs, I would say children, so that's a good one to remember. All right, um, so we'll be learning more of these irregular words today. So we're gonna practice a few more. If I have one man, I wouldn't say that I have more than one mans. I wouldn't say I have two mans, I'd say I have men. Okay, foot, mm -hmm. think about it. I have one foot, I have two feet. Yeah, that's a, a it doesn't follow the normal rules. Goose, I saw one goose at Onondaga Lake Park. I saw eight geese at Onondaga Lake Park. All right, I have one mouse. I see seven mice. They're all irregular. Those are just ones that we're gonna need to remember. Okay, so that is all of our practice with irregular nouns. Today we're gonna be reading the corner market. All right, so if I look at the table of contents, um, if I have my reader in front of me, I'm gonna look and I'm gonna find the market, the corner market. All right, let's look at this picture. I'm gonna switch back and forth between these two screens of Kurt entering the store behind his sister. Let's think of adjectives. Adjectives, remember those are describing words that describe how Kurt feels. What might be a good caption for this picture? Let's look. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna share a different screen with you that has my reader on it. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're trying to think of some adjectives. How does Kurt feel? Oh, he looks tired, he looks bored, he looks kind of Sleepy, defeated. He doesn't want to be there. That's what I think. I think a good caption would be another store. And I remember Kurt and Kim have been looking for a job all day. Are we done yet? Might be another good caption. He just looks miserable. Poor Kurt. Okie dokie. All right, I'm going to jump back in. Okay. Ooh. This is a good quote. A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. Hmm. What could that mean? How does that apply to our story? We know that Kim is looking for a job and she needs to get this job. So she's not gonna get this job if she quits. A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. If she quits, she's never gonna find her job. This is what Kim says to Kurt before entering the market. Um, what is the meaning of this sentence? We talked about how if she, if she gives up, she's never gonna get a job. And she, she, once she gets her job, she'll not, she'll, she won't have quit. That was a tongue twister. Okay, <clears throat> it's 
So here we have um, in the window, we have these words, Mercato Italiano. That means it's an Italian market. So Mercato means market, Italiano means Italian. These Italian words sound very similar to English words. All right, what kinds of things do you think will be sold in an Italian market? Oh, I love to go to an Italian market. I like to get pasta, I like to get meatballs, I like to get sauce and sausage mm, and sandwiches. I love going to an Italian market. All right, let's look at some of our words for today. With this er sound, I have words drummers, clerk, you can say them after me, winner, quitter, corner. Here I have my er sounds, Alberto, summer, counter, return. Can you hear my R sounds? Remember bossy R, this says R, like in market or park. All right, these are some multi-syllable words. That means that it's not just like cat or fish or ball. I have multiple syllables in this word, so I'm gonna chunk it up. Here I have suggested, suggested. That means to give a suggestion. I might give you advice. Timing, tiring, and someone. All right, here we're gonna go over some vocabulary before we read. All right, so the first word is accent. If someone talks in an accent, they have a way of speaking that lets us know that they're maybe not from the same area that we are. We might think of a Southern accent or an English accent. Um, so just someone that doesn't speak the way that we do. Shrug, next word is shrug. Shrug is when I raise my shoulders, I don't know, shrug. Next one is snatch. Snatch means to grab away. Last one is gelato. Oh, gelato is one of my favorite foods. It is a really thick ice cream that is sold at Italian restaurants and Italian markets. All right, so let's predict whether Kim will get a job at the corner market. Hmm, is she gonna get a job? Is this gonna be her lucky spot? Remember what she tells Kurt? A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. So maybe this will be her lucky time. We're gonna read and find out if our predictions are correct. So let's head into our story. Remember, as I am reading, I would like you to take your finger and follow along each word. That helps you stay focused right where we are and you can read along. Now, after I'm done reading, you can rewind this video and read this story again along with me. All right, here we go. The Corner Market. My story starts with quotation marks. That means that's what someone is actually saying. <laughs> Can we quit looking for a job and go back to the park to see the drummers? Kurt asked. Are you kidding? Kim said. I just started looking. And you know what mom says? A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. The corner market is just up the block. Let's try them and see if they have a job for me. <clears throat> All right, we're starting at the next paragraph. If you lost your spot, take your finger. Here we go. Kurt and Kim found the corner market. A bell rang and they went inside. There were all kinds of things for sale in the market. The walls and shelves were jammed with boxes and bags and cans. May I help you? Asked the man at the counter. He was a nice looking man with gray hair and glasses. He spoke with an accent. Are you Alberto? Yes, I am. Miss Katrina is not very good at accents. Nice to meet you, said Kim. She shook his hand. I'm trying to find a summer job. Beth and Tom at the gym suggested that I come see you. Oh, I wish I had a job for you, Alberto said with a shrug. You seem like a nice kid, but it is bad timing. I just hired someone last week, but I'll keep you in mind for the next time. Okay said Kim. Would you call me if something opens up? My name and number are written on this card. Kim was all set to go and then she felt a tug on her arm. Kim, said Kurt, all this job hunting is tiring me out. I could use a snack. Okay, said Kim. What would you like? Kurt said, I would like a lime gelato. Kim paid Alberto for the gelato. 
I was hoping you might pay me, Kim said to Alberto with a smile. But look how things ended up, me paying you. <clears throat> the man smiled and handed Kim some coins in return. Alrighty, that's the end of our story about the, uh, the corner market. All right, let's jump back in. Here we go. No. All right, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Okay, where does Kurt want to go at the beginning of the story? Hmm, remember he's all tired out. He wants to go see the drummers at the park. What things might be sold at a market? Hmm, what things might be sold at a market? Maybe groceries, maybe food, uh, maybe cleaning supplies. What does Alberto look like? Remember, he had white hair, he had facial hair, hair on his face. Why, about, why might Alberto speak with an accent? What clues do you have from the story? Hmm, why might he have an accent? Think about what kind of market he has. Well, if he owns the Mercado Italiano, that means it's an Italian market. Maybe he was born in Italy and he came to America. That would give him an accent. Did Kim get a job at the corner market? No. Why did Kim give Alberto a card with her name and number? If something opens up that he could call her. What snack does Kim buy for Kurt? She buys him um, hmm, some lime gelato. Yum. All right, guys, you have um, some more work to do in Seesaw and or a Google form. But before we go, let's check on our goals. How'd we do? Did we find the plural form of singular nouns? Yes, we did. I can create the plural form of irregular nouns. Yes, we can. Like in words like feet. How we go from foot to feet, man to men, child to children, goose to geese, mouse to mice. Looked at all those irregulars. Lastly, I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, the corner market. We did that one too. All right, I have loved going through this lesson with you guys. Uh, keep up the great work. Don't forget to do your seesaw work or your Google form so you can get credit for today. Bye guys.